Hello and welcome to Cosmic Consciousness with Cassia. On this channel, we discuss all aspects of the ascension process. I have a variety of services that I offer to assist in your awakening journey, and you can find those listed in the description box below. Today, we're going to be talking about the Blue Hand Wave spell, and this is beginning today on September 27th, 2021, and it is going to be going until October 9th. And so on October 10th, that 1010 portal, we have a brand new wave spell starting, which is really exciting. So we're in a preparatory energy for that right now. This is the third wave spell of the dream spell journey and it is also the third wave spell within the red eastern castle of turning which is the first castle of the dream spell count and so we've gone over this a little bit how we have uh, five castles within the dream spell journey and they each contain four wave spells each and this this uh, conglomeration or whatever you want to call it this combination of these five castles represents one spiral of galactic time Time. And so it was really exciting. A few weeks ago now, we entered the Red Cat Eastern Castle of Turning. So we entered a brand new spin of galactic time. And we can definitely feel those fresh new energies and beginnings. So we have almost completed the Red Eastern Castle of Turning now. It will be completed with the fourth and final wave spell of this castle, which is the Yellow Sun Wave spell, which, as we said, begins on 1010. But right now, we're in the Blue Hand Wave spell. And what a beautiful, beautiful energy it is. We're going to read a little bit about this, talk a little bit about this, and then we are going to get into a card reading that takes us through the next 13 days as well. So the blue hand wave spell relates to the universal symbology of the hand as a divine channel of healing. Reiki laying on of hands, the hamsa of protection, among others. In the same way, the use of open hands during meditation represents a receptive state of being to the divine knowledge. As such, the hand symbolizes the sacred cure and wisdom that liberates our spiritual conscience in order to understand our life's purpose in this dimension. It all contributes to the existential state, state of self-realization. Who we are? Where do we come from? Where are we going? Or I guess it should have said, who are we? Where do we come from? Where are we going? <laughs> Uh, yes, in the dream spell count, the blue hand is the solar seal number seven, which is also associated with the color blue, being part of the blue root race of the spiritual transformers. The blue hand has the action of knowing the essence of healing and the power of accomplishment. By being the seal seven and the bearer of the third wave spell of the dream spell journey, the hand wave spell relates to the divine number three, which is part of the Fibonacci sequence and the mystical number seven. So we've got some beautiful mystical numbers here with the seal number seven, with the divine number three. Uh, really just a beautiful, beautiful wave spell. This wave spell is a portal. So it's a portal from one understanding of ourselves into another. And it very much relates to the energy of accomplishment and the energy of completion. So during a blue hand wave spell, we are being called to complete anything that requires completion at this time. This includes any projects that we've kind of put on the back burner, any things that we know we should have taken care of, but we haven't quite taken care of yet. It's very much about tying up the loose ends and that sense of accomplishment that comes when we do that. It is about the using of hands. It is about healing in all ways, shapes, and forms. So experiencing more healing, bringing more healing to the self, bringing more healing to others, reaching out our hands in an offer of service to another, and also learning to be receptive and to receive the love and the healing that others are offering to us as well. This is an energy where we're opening up more deeply to our spiritual gifts, especially to our clear senses. And so we can expect their developments in that realm and in that arena of our lives as well, as we are stepping more into our mystical and sacred energy. We are going to read, of course, as well from the Astro Dream Advisor. Blue Hand is a gateway and opening, a portal from one understanding to another. A clue to the meaning of blue hand is found in the meditation. I am, by thinly veiled design, the threshold to other dimensions. In my ending is my beginning. The initiatory gateway awaits. Blue hand is the seventh or last archetype in the cycle of development of primary being. It represents the power found in completion. Blue hand is seen as a closure, which is really an opening to another level of being. 
Like the fluidity of moving water, blue hand is associated with the process of dance, mudra, and beauty. This movement is a metaphor for the ebb and flow of life. In, the medita in meditation with Monique, experience the flowing quality that is the beauty of the cosmic dance. Remember this essence and this fluidity at times when your life feels most inflexible or lacking in beauty. Blue hand represents the beauty way, the ability to see intrinsic beauty within yourself and in all things. Living the beauty way requires being in your full beauty and power. From this place, your self-authority naturally flows. This is the position where your ego is aligned with divine will. When you are standing in your full beauty and power, your very presence invites others to be all that they are. To the Maya, blue hand represents the deer, the gentle, serenely aware guide who walks in fluid beauty and grace, opening and revealing. The essence of blue hand is held in the metaphor of a wave. The wave has many stages from momentum to crest to completion and merging with the ocean once again. Blue hand connects you to the greater ocean and reveals the shores of your true identity. If you identify with the struggle of eddies and storms, that is the learning you will draw to you. If you identify with your oneness of spirit, by the law of affinity, that is what you will become. The energy of blue hand will also help you to manifest spiritual skills, especially those intuitive gifts such as oracular divination. In each incarnation, you bring certain gifts, each path from priest and priestess to shaman and dancer to artist and gardener carries varied tools and skills. You have chosen certain gifts and tools that offer you a way to interact with others and your life process. This may be as simple as calling on your innate wisdom and insight in order to see clearly the gifts and tools that you carry. Strongly claim in prayer or meditation that you are willing and ready to receive the tools appropriate to your present development. You are worthy to receive these tools. Allow blue hands wave to wash away any remnant of unworthiness that you may fully receive the gifts that are your birthright to use and enjoy. The number for blue hand is seven, the symbol of mystical power. As you accept your mystic power, you will be taken through the gateway into the mysteries of your essence. Seven also represents the Mayan mystic column, as well as the last note of an octave of growth. Walk the seven steps of the pyramid. Open your lotus to the world. So really beautiful. And I love how this really, it links in very well with the channeling that I just did for the 1010 portal. And that video will be coming out soon, uh, which was very much about us making a declaration and a proclamation, claiming our sovereignty, right? Claiming our gifts, claiming whatever it is that we desire within this lifetime. So I, I really like how that, as we're leading up to the 1010 portal, was part of that reading there. And we are going to read the affirmations as well. The first affirmation is, I unify in order to know, attracting healing. I seal the store of accomplishment with the magnetic tone of purpose. I am guided by my own power doubled. And the secondary affirmation is I am money canned. I am your artistic and healing abilities. I give to you beauty and accomplishment. And the guidance is to focus on consciously evoking what you want to happen. Bring completion to the areas of your life that allow you to move to the next higher level of being. Enter the gateway of healing. And this is a time where we are attracting knowledge and understanding. We are attracting knowledge. We are attracting understanding. But there are some things as well that we aren't meant to know or understand. And so there's an acceptance of that as well that has to come during this wave spell. It's very high priestess energy in the, in the tarot. This energy of what is hidden and mysterious and not meant to know and what is meant to know. So what you are meant to know and understand during this blue hand wave spell, you will come to know and understand. But it is that process, as we always talk about, of going within that is going to reveal it to you. And it is that process of walking your path, of offering that healing to others and embracing your own healing journey that is going to help that to manifest so I'm going to pull a couple angel answers cards because my, my eyes just landed on those. So let's get some guidance, some energies clear for this blue hand wave spell. September 27th to October 9th. Let's get some, uh, get some energies here. And time, you know... <laughs> We, we work with time here. We work with galactic time. 
we work with cosmic time but really to all time is an illusion and so uh whenever you find this video if you're clicking on this after the wave spells completed uh what comes through may be just as relevant for you now we all have our in own innate sense of timing so just i was just called to uh mention that so it's up to you is the first card out and this is so beautiful and this once again goes hand in hand with some of the energies that i was channeling for the 1010 portal and this is a preparation like we said for that energy right it's up to you you get to decide you get to choose what do you want to experience i feel like there may be somebody who has a decision that they're trying to make right now also or that they will be trying to make during this blue hand wave spell and the angels are saying like there is no right or wrong it's what you want it's up to you you get you get to decide there is no uh you can't get it wrong right it's what do you want to experience next what feels good to you what feels right to you we have so much more control over our experience in this reality than we give ourselves credit for a lot of the time and then we have listened to your intuition so what you need to know like we said, right, it's, it's going to come from within. Your intuition is guiding you toward the choice that is best for you and most beneficial for you at this lifetime. But you have, you have the free will to choose whatever you want, right? So don't, don't uh, let other people's opinions or what other people think is right for you determine the choice that you make. Really go inside, listen to your intuition and, and decide and figure out what it is that you want. What is going to be the most fulfilling for you? What is going to be the most healing for you? Yeah. This also to me feels like a reminder that we have a lot more influence over situations than we think we do. So if there is a situation that you're feeling powerless over, understand that you have a lot more you have a lot more, uh, I don't want to necessarily use the word control, but there, you have a lot more influence than you believe. So really, uh, this reminds me of, say, if we're working on a relationship or we're working on something, right? When we do our own healing work, when we work on our own vibration, that naturally raises the vibration of the situation or moves it out, right? So that something of a better of a better match can come in. So yeah, your intuition will guide you to make the right choice. And whatever choice you make is the right choice for you. And let it be the right choice for you, not the right choice for everybody around you. And we have recovery. So this is going to be a very healing wave spell. We're going to be very tapped into our intuition. We're going to be feeling much more assertive and able to make choices about our own lives, the direction we want our lives to go in, right? And we're really going to be recuperating and healing. And that's perfect because this is a wave spell of healing. So allow yourself that time for healing. See how this angel is like right over her here? Like the, it's like your angels are preside, presiding over your healing in the unseen realms as well. They really truly are. They're bringing you so much light. They're bringing you so much of what you need to nourish your spirit at this time. So take that time out to let them work. They're working anyway, but take that time to connect with that process and allow yourself that recovery time in whatever aspect of your life. If you need that rest and rejuvenation during this wave spell, take it. Take it. Yeah. And then we have reconsider and no need to worry coming out. And so what this feels like to me is this feels as though perhaps somebody made a choice or a decision and kind of wishes that they had made a different one. But the angels are saying there's no need to worry because everything's going to work out exactly how it's meant to. This also means this also feels like opportunities coming back around offers coming back around for people and we are in mercury retrograde so this does make sense right uh for some people this could be relationships but it could be any type of opportunity uh maybe something that you turned down in the past which maybe now is going to be helpful and beneficial for you and it's going to ease a lot of your stress and worry 
for some people, whether this is a job, whether this is a living situation, whether this is uh, whatever it is, uh, reconsidering. But knowing that whatever, if, if, if you did make a choice and now you are wishing, you're second guessing yourself or wishing you had done something better, then this is also a message for you saying like, don't worry about that. Don't stress about that. Everything's working out exactly how it's going to. You're not missing an opportunity because more opportunities will come. This feels like abundance. There's no need to worry card. It really feels like abundance to me. And this is also a reminder as during this, like we said, this blue hand wave spell is happening during Mercury retrograde, which is a time of reconsidering. It is a time of looking at things from different perspectives, of um, thinking things over through a different lens. Go ahead and go through that process, but don't stress, don't get stressed and anxious about it. There's no need to give yourself unnecessary anxiety. And we have improving health on the bottom of the deck, which is beautiful. And that goes really in line with this recovery energy, I feel like. For people who have been feeling uh, a little bit under the weather, you are going to be experiencing improve, improving health. For some, it's definitely physical. Also emotional, spiritual health uh, during this cycle. During this uh, blue hand wave spell. Yeah, and that popped right out, so... That really wanted to come out, that improving health. They wanted to uh, really drive that point home for someone. And I landed, the way that I put it down, it landed on top of listen to your intuition and recovery. And so I feel as though in order to make the most out of this potential for improving health, really listen to how you're intuitively guided to approach the situation. Whether this is your physical health, your spiritual health, your mental health, uh, whatever it is that you're, the health of a relationship, like we talked about even. Uh, however it is that you are being guided intuitively by your body, by your, your intuition, Really, really pay attention to that because your intuition is guiding you towards uh, the steps that you can take in order to allow your health to continue to grow and flourish in whatever way, like we said. And yeah, this is a confirmation. You know, I said that this feels like abundance. Abundance. So there is abundance. What is abundance to you? Own that. Proclaim that, right? We talked about this energy of proclaiming things. Proclaim, stake your claim to your abundance. Is that is abundance to you improved health? Is abundance uh, finances? Is abundance love and connection? Is it all those things? And don't think that you have to pick just one. You can have every form of abundance that you want. So this wave spell is really, I feel like what it's doing too is it's reminding us where abundant, abundance already exists in our lives. Because remember, when we focus on that, that's when abundance begins to multiply. So I really, really like that. And then opportunity on the bottom of the deck too. Yeah, so like we said, there may be opportunities coming back around for people that you thought that you had missed out on. Uh, which are going to ease the stress and the worry and increase abundance for people. I was called to the wisdom of the hidden realms. So I want to pull a couple cards from this as well. Let's get some guidance for this blue hand wave spell. Clear. Guidance for the blue hand wave spell. And it may not even, and for some people it's opportunities coming back around. For other people it's new opportunities for abundance. In whatever, whatever way, shape, or form, you are wanting to call that abundance to you. Whether it's a mentor or a spiritual helper, whether it's people to collaborate with, people to network with, uh, jobs, relationships. Uh, it could be anything, any opportunity. If it's an opportunity for happiness in any way, shape, or form, uh, take it. Consider it reconsider it right if it's going to increase your joy and your bliss then what what's the hold up right and so we have the ringmaster of scrutiny discernment clear vision and details then we have the map maker of destiny authentic purpose inspiration and free will so this is what we were just talking about you choose your own path it's up to you and then we have the keeper of the scales, fairness and balance, and we are in Libra season. So this fairness and balance energy, uh, definitely big on our minds, especially as we have during this wave spell that, that new moon in Libra coming through. 
So, yeah. Yeah, it definitely is. And with Mercury retrograde, this is important, right? This, this energy of paying attention to the details, of practicing discernment, of reconsidering, right? Even when there is these opportunities are coming in. We want to read the fine print if we're signing anything. We want to know what it is that we're agreeing to uh, before we agree. Absolutely. But this is also about us getting a clear, having a clear vision of the road ahead. So really doing during this blue hand wave spell, we're getting more of a vision uh, for our lives and where, where it is that we see ourselves going. And we're being asked because there is such beautiful energy. Remember, this is a portal. This energy is a portal, right? To another expression and experience of ourselves. It's also that time of closures, right? So paying attention to those details, tying up those little details, uh, but also having that clear vision of what's ahead and manifesting and creating. Remember, we got that new moon energy too. So what is it that you want to create moving forward? Get really clear about that vision. Yes, leave that vision open to what to uh, this or something better, right? Because we always want to be open to that something better. But still have that beautiful, clear vision moving forward. And really allow you know that you have... You have the ability, you have the right, you have the dominion over your life. You get to choose what you want to experience. What is your destiny, right? Is that faded or do we get a choice? And uh, that's that's the funny thing is like it, destiny is a funny thing, right? Uh, because like we do get a choice, but at the same time, if we're tapping into the truth within our souls, we're all, it's always going to lead us in the same direction, right? Ultimately, it's re leading us to the same thing. And so just really, um, no, but, but know that you have, you get to create what it is that you want to experience. Like the universe is just reminding you to uh, keep fairness and justice uh, and balance, right? to keep that energy within your within your scope to really uh, remember and think about what what it what is uh just stay in your integrity basically stay in your integrity in all situations this also to me feels like during this this blue hand wave spell there is going to be justice right there are going to be situations that are completed uh, possibly for some people, this would be legal situations. This would be uh, karmic energies completing. Whether these are karmic returns for some people, I feel like there's beautiful karmic returns for energy. Uh, I don't want to say that you were owed, but just like good karma coming back and returning to you for the good things. It's like all of the beauty that you've put into the world. Remember, the blue hand is about the beauty way. You're receiving some of that beauty back now in the form of abundance, right? Because you've created so much abundance, an abundance of love, an abundance of joy, an abundance of healing in the world through what you do, through who you are, and that is returning to you. So that's part of this energy as well. It's an energy of balancing the scales however the scales need to be balanced, and that, that karma returning to us. And any areas where, we, where there was injustice, if we were able to to really get into that mode and that mentality of realizing that we don't have to be the bringers of justice, the universe will adjust accordingly. Uh, we may see some of that energy falling into line and we may, may notice uh, that the universe kind of taking care of what needs to be taken care of. And I hope you guys, there's somebody mowing their lawn or doing something crazy outside right now. Uh, not that mowing your lawn is crazy, but I live in a, a city kind of area, so there's not really any lawns around here. I don't know what's going on out there. Hopefully that's not bothering anyone. I'm doing my best to uh, keep my focus on you guys. Usually my mic cancels out all that sound, but um, it is a little bit loud. Uh, and then we have patience and stillness. So yeah, when it comes to this, when it comes to these issues, whether this is like we said, legal issues, whether this is uh, contracts and agreements, whether this is uh, just a situation where you felt that you were treated unjustly or unfairly, unfair uh, but you had that patience. And you allowed things to unfold as they were meant to instead of feeling like you needed to step in and kind of like play God. You know what I mean? You just let God take care of the details. Uh, that energy may be coming around and you may be receiving that, um, that balance as well. 
And when I said balance, though, I saw a checkbook. So there's definitely money coming in for people during this wave spell. Definitely feels like money or opportunities that are going to lead to money coming in. Uh, like the balance in some people's uh, bank accounts is going up. So that's interesting. And then we have the Metal King. But this came out reversed. So I'm actually going to read this from the book because that was a very clear reversal there. All right. And so this is all about setting boundaries, right? So the, uh, in the challenge position, this says, be mindful of codependency and enmeshment when the Metal King comes as your challenger. He's inviting you to address how overwhelmed you may be around other people. Do you pick up their feelings like a sponge? Do you feel that you need to heal them so that you feel better? Get grounded. Be clear about your own personal boundaries and restrain yourself when you feel like jumping in to help without being asked. This is also a warning against forming unhealthy relationships in any area of your life. And that brings right into this balance energy again, right? And this is definitely in Libra season, something that we are looking at. We're looking at boundaries. We're looking at codependency. We're looking at people pleasing. We're looking at all of these energies. And so uh, this is uh, definitely I'm feeling too as a message for empaths and people who are highly sensitive during this blue hand wave spell that sensitivity is going to be increased so you really want to pay attention to whether you're picking up on the feelings and the emotions of people around you and how that's influencing you and how you can consistently clear your energy and protect your own energy field and notice the way that you feel when you're around certain people if you feel drained every time you spend time around a certain person then maybe it's time to spend a little maybe it's time to spend a little less time uh, if you guys know what I mean. And uh, this energy of needing to heal them to make you feel better. This is a form of codependency. When we feel as though we need to help somebody in order to make ourselves feel better, either because we can't stand seeing them in discomfort or because it's, or also when we have that motivation for helping others just because of kind of like the high that we get off of it and i'm not saying that that's a bad thing these are just things that may come up to be examined and looked at uh, what is that need what is that attachment toward helping other people because we can do that in an unhealthy way as well so do we need to set boundaries around that do we need to look at our motives and our intentions around that uh, do we need to look at just any areas of our lives where we are experiencing any of these codependent type energies? And we really want to um, to strengthen ourselves in those areas. All right. Let's see. Do we want any final? What do we want for a final card here? Yeah, I want to pull a secret language of light card for the final card for this reading here. All right clear final card for the blue hand wave spell yeah. where are we distracting ourselves from our own healing work by focusing on others that's a big thing that we do sometimes that we don't even realize that we're doing i used to do this all the time if i help enough people if i listen to enough people's problems then i don't think about my own right that i don't have to worry about my own stuff and that can be a trap in and of itself. Okay. Ooh, and then what was trying to pop out there? Ask your soul was trying to pop out, right? Which is very much listen to your intuition. Go into meditation to receive the answers that you seek. But then we have remembrance card number 11 popping out here. And we have card number three, Nourish. All right. So this, remembering who we are, this blue hand wave spell is such a powerful portal to tap into more of the truth of who we are, to allow ourselves to remember. And once again, it's that energy of, of um, completions too, right? When we forget what we think we know, we open ourselves up to remember more. So that's an interesting that's an interesting message coming through here. But just get into this beautiful quiet place. Get into this get into this this quiet state and just open yourself up to remember. These are light codes coming through during this blue hand wave spell that are going to assist in this process of remembrance 
and that's also just really great energy it's so funny when i do uh when i when i work on something sometimes like i was working on that 1010 portal video and uh so much that resonates with the energies of that is coming up as well so this 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 blue hand wave spell is going to be a process of remembrance and it's really preparing us for the 1010 portal where we merge more deeply with our souls and really step into a powerful reconnection with our souls and our soul light so remembering the truth of who you are, right? And like we said, releasing attachment to who we thought we were. And then nourish. So really taking care of ourselves during this blue hand wave spell, this healing energy, bringing healing to the earth as well, laying those healing hands on the earth. She will be so receptive as she always is and so thankful for that. And do you, I like how this portal here, looks a lot like this one isn't that interesting yeah this deck is so absolutely gorgeous so really honoring your connection to Gaia nourishing her allowing her to nourish you during this blue hand wave spell and doing something constructive with your hands to help the planet too Go plant some trees, right? Go get your hands in the dirt and garden. Uh, I don't know what it is. Go pick up some trash. I don't care what it is. It's like an Earth Day kind of vibe here, right? What a beautiful planet we would live on if every day were Earth Day. And what, a, or I guess I can say what a beautiful planet we do live on and we will continue to live on uh, because every day for us is Earth Day, right? All right. I love you guys. I appreciate you. You are so beautiful. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Drop a comment down below. Let me know how you're feeling this uh, blue hand wave spell. There are links down below to donate if you feel so moved to do so. They are appreciated. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. My email is down below. Please reach out to me if you want to do any one-on-one -on -one healing work, one-on-one uh, -on -one readings, any of that stuff. I love connecting with you guys and working with you in that way. I will talk to you very, very, very soon.